<clears throat> Don't mess with me. Shh. Oh, Henrietta! Henrietta! Oh, Henrietta, where are you? Rosie, we've been looking for hours. What if a coyote got my hen? Oh, Haley, I'm sure we'll be all right. I'm sure we'll find Henrietta. Wait, look, I see tracks. Yep, these are Henrietta's all right. She went north. It looks like her tracks lead into this abandoned mine cave. I don't think we should go in there, though. It could collapse on us. Oh, Haley, you gotta have a little adventure in your life. Henrietta, are you in there, little chick? Ah! Really? There's an owl out of my cave! That ain't no owl! Oh, that's my head! Henrietta, come to mama! <sighs> See? Henrietta ain't no outlaw. It was just a chicken? It's just a chicken? Well, that's a relief. Because I'm really close to finding me some gold. Hello, sir. What's your name? I'm Rosie the Rancher. And I'm Haley Henhouse, and this is my pet hen, Henrietta. Well, ladies, my name is Freddie F. Gold. What's the F stand for? Well, ma'am, it stands for fools. So, your name is Freddie Fools Gold? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Said you were looking for gold? How long you been looking for? I've been looking in this here mine for all my life, even before I was born. <laughs> you two want to help me? I got plenty of work for you. Gold is what I love most of all. Really? What you love most? Yes, ma'am. You know, Mr. Freddy, there's something even greater to love than gold, and it even loves you back. Mm -hmm. You know, I know what it's like to love something real important to you, like my Henrietta. I went all through town and even way out here because I love her so much. Yep, and you spending time out here digging and shoveling and working hard shows you really do love gold. But Jesus leaves you even more than that. Mm -hmm. He showed us the greatest love by dying on the cross for our sins. Well, gee whiz! Jesus loves me more than gold. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love gold, but I wouldn't die for it. You really are not ashamed to talk about Jesus' love. Well, Romans 1.16 does say, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. Well, thank you for telling me that there's more to love than just gold. No mm -hmm. problem. It's our problem, pleasure. Sir. Yeah. What was that? Uh-oh. Rosie! Ma has been ringing the dinner bell and hollering for you. And when you didn't show, she sent me out here in the dirt to come and get you. Now let's go. Sorry. Well, gee, isn't she as shiny as the gold I found? If I find any. My name is, uh... My name is Freddy Fool's Gold. What's your name, miss? Oh, Mr. Freddy, this is my sister, Darla Darlin. Ah. What's he doing? I have no idea. Looks like he's getting something. <clears throat> oh, he oh. got a guitar. Oh. Uh, uh, I think that's the wrong way, buddy. There you go. <clears throat> oh, my darling. No, oh, my darling. No, oh, my darling. Clementine. Real clever, Mr. Freddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Darla, Mr. Freddy here owns this here mine, and he's been looking for gold. Well, good for you, mister. If you ever find any, why don't you buy some soap and get that stench off you? Now let's go, Rosie. Supper's getting cold. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Freddy. We'll come back and see you tomorrow. Goodbye, Mr. Freddy. Goodbye, y'all. I sure do love me some gold, but uh, that hand looks mighty tasty. My boot. Ew, a snake? You better keep that thing away from me. Here, 
I get it. See? Just a, oh my God! Just a cross! Wait! <laughs> oh, well, that was a close one. Now, Mr. Freddy. Now you know these things are not meant to be thrown. They're meant for walking in. Oh, what's he doing? <clears throat> these boots are made for walking, and that's what they'll just do. One of these days, these boots are gonna lead me straight to you. Lead you straight to what? To the gold, of course. Oh, brother. Is that the marshal? What's the marshal doing here? Hey! What you think you're doing now on that piece of paper to my mind? Y'all haven't heard? There's an outlaw on the loose. Otis Outlaw's his name, and he's wanted. So, keep a lookout, y'all. An outlaw? Oh, my. Oh. Well, who's that now? Who's that? I have no idea. Oh, a chow, a chow. Um, uh, could you help me? Uh, my name is Isabella uh, from Italy. I was uh, passing uh, through a town uh, when this outlaw stole my horse uh, that was pulling my wagon. Oh. You're from Idali? Uh, no, I'm not Idali. Italy! Oh. Italy? Si. Well, you look mighty fine in that Italian day wear you got on. <laughs> Grazie. Say, is it less dirty in Italy than here? Oh, Darla, be nice. Miss Isabel just said her horse was stolen. So where are you traveling to? Maybe we can help you get there. Oh, well, I am a dressmaker from Italia. I am trying to get to Paris, the home of fashion. <laughs> oh, my. Well, you're in Paris, all right. Really? Uh, this doesn't look like a Paris. Uh, where is the Eiffel Tower? Oh, not Paris, France. You're in Paris, Texas. Yeah! Woo! Oh, mamma mia, che cosa faccio adesso? I need to get to France. I need to sell my beautiful dresses. I'll buy some of your dresses. <laughs> Dala, don't you already have enough dresses? You can never have enough dresses, sister. Yeah. Yeah. Hey! That's the man! That is I'll get it back for you, Miss Isabel. Ah! Oh! Oh, 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 stop it, stop it. I'm sorry, Miss Isabel. I really did try. Oh, it's all right, Mr. Freddy. If you think this horse is the only thing I'm gonna steal, y'all might are wrong. Going after that there gold, that there mine. You wouldn't dare. Oh boy, it's a showdown. Mr. Freddy, don't do it! When that cloak strikes, we draw. My name is Freddy Foods Gold. You steal my gold, prepare to lose. <gasps> oh, bravo, bravo! Well, buddy, it looks like you won this time, but uh, I'll be back to get you, along with that there gold and your little hen, too. Get out Damn. of here, you yes. snake! Yes. Get out! Stop, stop, stop! Oh. What a match! Oh, see, it was incredible! I have never seen such an intense match before! But, Miss Isabel, he stole your horse. Yes, si, si, si. I ragione, mamma. It's all right, uh, you see, because uh, if a God still loves him, uh, so can I. God still loves him? Even though he's an outlaw? Of course he does, Darla. God loves everyone. He loves y'all. He loves Miss Isabel, and she lives all the way in Italy. Hey, pero. He even loves those that are outlaws. And his good news, the gospel, is for everyone, too. But not everybody knows that because they don't know him. Hmm. Ain't there a verse on that? Yes, sir, Mr. Freddy. It's 1 John 3, 1, and it says, Behold what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we might be children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us, because they do not know him. Uh, we are all the children of God. Uh, but uh, uh, Mr. Otis does not know us, because he does not uh, know a God. Maybe next time.
next time we see Mr. Otis, and y'all know we will, we can share God's love with him. But all right, now that we got a plan for Mr. Outlaw, what are we going to do about getting Miss Isabel to France? I want to get her there as soon as possible so I can leave this crusty, dusty town and buy some of her dresses. <sighs> Well, well, we could try doing this. Mom, I mean, no, 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 maybe no, 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 are you sure that thing even works? Well, I think it's perfect. That damn track that it's on will work great to take Miss Isabel to Paris, France, where she needs to go. What you say? Hmm. I say it's about the time that I start working out. Uh, how do you say in English? Uh, boom, boom. A uh, welcome to the gun show. <laughs> and with that, I go. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, scusa. Ciao a tutti. Oh, dear. Eh, sì, è rotto. Aspetta, aspetta. Okay, ciao. Ciao. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Oh, scusa. Ciao. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Oh, dai. Okay. Ciao. 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 What? Che bello. We'll see you oh, tomorrow, Mr. Freddy. Bye, Mr. Later, Freddy. Girls. See you tomorrow. Bye, kids. Later, kids. I'm in my mind, and I'm digging. I'm in my mind, and I'm singing. Mr. Freddy, let me help you with that. I like throwing rocks, too. Rosie, you better not rip that dress. I just sewed it yesterday, and I ain't fixing to sew it again just because you like rocks. Oh, Darla, your name should be Debbie. Debbie? Why? Because you're always being a Debbie Downer. Now, let's help Mr. Freddy out. That is crazy. I don't know how to do that. That's not a woman's job anyway. Oh, Darla, I'm sure you'd like it. It's mighty cool in this mine. It's all shiny. That's gold dust. That means I'm close to finding me some gold. I think we should all help Mr. Freddy out just a little bit. Even you, Darla. Do Darla. I have to? Now, I know you don't like getting dirty and all, but Mom and Pa didn't raise us to not help people when a job needs to be done, no matter how much we don't like it. Well, all right, just as long as there ain't no spiders or snakes. There ain't no snakes. But spiders, yes, and also bats, and rats, and bobcats. Oh, my! <laughs> well, don't worry about them rats, and bats, and bobcats, because any, if, any, if any of them show up, I'll be sure to scare them off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's make a line, and we'll pass the rocks down, and Darla, you can put them in a pile over there, okay? Well, that sounds like a mighty fine plan to me. Here. Howdy, y'all. What are you doing here? Well, I, uh, they don't call me an outlaw for no reason. I uh, just come to see how you're doing on your digging. Otis, you better scat. We don't want none of your trouble. 
We also don't want your poor fashion choices. Were you born in a barn? Well, it don't matter what I'm wearing. All that matters is that they're gold and that they're mine. Well, that day ain't today. Move along, partner. I'll be back. He's so mean, thinking he can steal my... Hey! <laughs> steal my gold? It's all right, Mr. Freddy. God is in control. <laughs> it's a riot! Oh, oh, no! No! to death, and I tore a hole in my dress. Oh, it's all right, Darla. God made dirt, and dirt don't hurt. Well, that dirt did hurt my tush. God sure don't love me. Now, Miss Darla, that ain't true. God loves you very much. Mr. Freddy's right, sister. God loves you so much that he sent his only son to die for you. Are you sure about that? I mean, I know you said God shows his love and loves people like Miss Isabel, but are you sure he loves me? Yeah! John 3.16 tells us that. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. To whoever, that includes you and me as individuals. God loves me? Enough to send his Son for me? Wow, yes. Jesus Christ was God's greatest gift to us. Well, his second greatest gift is gold. Mr. Freddy! Well, if God loves me, then I want to love God and be more like him. Darla, I think that's amazing. Now, let's get you home and get you cleaned up. But before that, I reckon we better pray and thank the Lord for loving us so much. I agree. And maybe we should pray for Otis Outlaw as well. That's a great idea, y'all. I'll pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for loving us so much, God, to send your son. And I pray that Mr. Outlaw, that he understands that he is just as loved as we are. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I'll see you all tomorrow. See Have you a good tomorrow. one, Mr. Freddy. Bye, Bye, Mr. Freddy. Mr. Freddy. Goodbye. Mr. Freddy. He can't be too far. I can still smell him. I don't see him anywhere. <sighs> Mr. Freddy! Did y'all look in his mind yet? I didn't. I saw a rat in there yesterday, and I ain't fixing to see it again. I didn't either. I just expect him to be out and working already. <sighs> well, gee whiz, y'all, I'll go look. Mr. Freddy! <laughs> Mr. Freddy! <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Are you all right? What is it? Is it a bobcat? No, but I found Mr. Freddy, and he just gave me a fright with his snoring. Ugh. Morning, y'all. Morning, Mr. Freddy. How'd you sleep? Really good. Ready for the day. I wonder if I'll find any gold. Well, we won't know till we start getting working now, will we? All righty. But I need to go to the well and get some water before we start. I can help you. We can soften up the dirt and start digging with some soft dirt. Now, while y'all are doing that, I'm going to go in the cave and see if I can find me any bobcats. I'm going to stay here and make sure that outlaw ain't doing anything suspicious. All righty. Off to the wheel, then. We'll be back, Darla. Have you seen Otis? Have you seen Otis? Ah, shucks. There's a hole in my bucket. I'm gonna, I guess I gotta go grab my spare one. Sorry, Miss Haley. All right, hurry back, Mr. Freddy. <laughs> There's a hole. Quiet. Excuse me. Thank you. There's a hole in my bucket. Dear Darla, dear Darla, there's a hole in my bucket. Dear Darla, dear me. Oh, Mr. Freddy. Henrietta, what 
is it? There ain't nothing there. Henrietta. 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 All right, Henrietta. I've had just about enough of you. Ah, Henrietta, why didn't you tell me Otis was sneaking up behind me? I reckon it's time to give me that gold. Step aside, ma'am. There ain't no place for you here. I warned you, miss. Hold this for me, ma'am, like you. It's nice knowing you, miss, but uh, I gotta go give me some gold. <laughs> time, Miss Darla, but uh, she got in the way of me getting my gold. You tied me up with dynamite, and that train was coming. Well, look, that gold, it's my only saving grace. It's the only thing to keep me being an outlaw. Do you even want to be an outlaw? Well, no, not, not really, but I've just done so much trouble that who can forgive me? Well, I forgave you, even though you done me wrong. God will forgive you, too, if you ask. And God can also be your saving grace than just gold, so you don't have to be an outlaw. Well, how can God save me? It's as simple as Acts 16.31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your household. All you got to do is believe in Jesus, that he was born, that he died on the cross, and that he rose again three days later, all for your sins. His love is saving. Do you want to be saved? Well... I do, but what do I do? Well, y'all repeat after me. Gather around. Come on, let's lay hands on him. Hats off, gentlemen. All right, just repeat after me, Mr. Otis. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I pray that you can forgive me for my sins. I pray that you can forgive me for my sins. And I pray that you can come and live in my heart. I pray that you can come and live in my heart. I thank you so much for loving me. I thank you so much for loving me. For sending your only son to die for me. For sending your only son to die for me. And I pray that I can be just like you and love like you. I pray that I can be just like you and love like you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, I really am sorry, Miss Darla. Can you forgive me? Of course I can forgive you. Welcome to God's family. Well, looks like the sun is going to sleep. And I am too. So you're not, y'all. No, I'll see y'all in the morning. Good night, Mr. Freddy. Good night, Mr. Otis. Oh, stupid lasso. It's a mighty fine nugget right there. What in tarnation is happening here? We can hear you all the way from in town. I finally found gold. Ever since I've been digging in this here mine all my, before I was born, I finally found it. That's wonderful, Mr. Freddy. Well, thank you, Miss Ro Rosie. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Miss Rosie, Otis helped me too. Well, good job to you too, Mr. Otis. Ain't it more fun when you're helping rather than causing trouble? Well, yes it is, ma'am. 
Uh, is that gold supposed to be staying in your fingers, Mr. Freddy? Uh. Yeah, I didn't think real gold was supposed to do that. It ain't! Uh, no, you wait now. You wait now. <laughs> yep. I, I don't think that's real gold either, uh, the way that it's, uh, crumbling and staining. Freddy fool's gold! Foul fool's gold! <gasps> well, what a twist! Ain't that something? I guess gold really isn't the second greatest gift. <laughs> what? It's a long story. Right. Well, what am I gonna do now? Now that I didn't find any gold, because I've been looking for it all my life, I didn't have any other plans. What am I gonna do now? I've been looking, well, I've been an outlaw all my life, and uh, I don't got any other plans. I'm sure it'll be all right, gentlemen. Everything will be okay. Miss Rose is right. Everything will work out. Well, all right. How, how do you know that? What, what if things don't work out? What if my life falls apart? Because God can say that. It's in Romans, right, Miss Haley? Yeah, it's in Romans 8, 28. It tells us, for we know that all things work together for good to those who love God. Y'all love God? Yeah. yeah. Well, then everything will work out just fine. Y'all have nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah. all right. I guess you're all, all right. Just got to trust him, okay? Well, now you can spend your whole life chasing after God rather than gold. Well, I'd much rather chase after God than gold. It just it seems a little bit more fulfilling. And it is. You know what? I think to end our day, we should do some dancing. Sounds like a fun oh, well, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know about that, ma'am. I got a uh, two left feet. Yeah, and I've got two right feet. Oh, it's all right. It'll be fun. Come on, let's go, y'all. All right. <laughs>